What is going on everyone, this is Wicked and uh, today I had the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest update of Android and Nougat 7.0 on my Galaxy S4 but before we get cracking let me tell you something because I really want to thank you guys for more than 5,000 subscribers yep it really means a lot to me and shout out for anyone who contribute to my channel uh, either if you did by commenting, by liking, or by appreciating my videos, it really means a lot to me. And uh, quick, uh, quick tip: if you want to keep, uh, you know, following my uh, community, please make sure you use hashtag Let's Get Wicked, and of course, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm at 100% full time uh, on uh, at Let's Get Wicked. So, yep. Okay, now let's get back into the flashing part. Let's make it simple. Here we are in Team Tim Win Recovery, and first of all, you may need to back up your device, your current ROM, if you want to restore it later. So back up it, and then it's a must. You must wipe. So factory reset. As you may see, backup completed. I already back up my configuration and right now I'm uh, wiping data. Okay, so after I wiped my all my data, please make sure you follow this really carefully. Select storage, internal storage because that's where I got all my files. I need to flash, scroll down and you will see the following files. ASP 7.0 for gfltgsm.zip, Google Apps Team Ready and Open Gaps ARM 7.0 Nano. So first of all, you'll need to flash this one by GDC team, shout out for them. Okay, so we're almost done after kind of three to four minutes of installing. So as you may see, it says import notice, first reboot may take a few minutes. It can also loop a few times, so do not interrupt the process. Okay, so we're done with this and uh, afterwards, of course, you'll need to install the open gaps. This is the nano package. Okay, so, yep, the installation of gaps is done. And uh, one important feature of this uh, ROM is that it comes with the uh, OMS Substratum theme engine. And in order to get most of your gaps themed, all you need to do is to install this package here, Google App Theme Ready, Olipop, Marshmallow, and Android and version 23.1. So after you've done that, please make sure you reboot and, uh, you know, wait until it boots up completely. Take a look at this beautiful boot animation and damn, this is a really nice touch. I've always liked these uh, flashing colors from the LED. Take a look, different colors, really, really beautiful. So yep. This is the boot animation. I'm gonna get back to you guys after it boots up and after I put all my infos in the phone with the full review of this beautiful update of Android and 7.0. Okay guys, latest update for Android and 7.0 on my Galaxy S4. Take, uh, take caution, it's only available for the international variant i9505 so as you may see android 7.0 model number and other stuff like the kernel version which is rocking the beautiful alucard cpu hot plug you can choose it from Twix, which is a really great option for customizing your kernel to get maximum battery life but the thing that I want to tell you before we get to cracking into this full review is that this is by far the most unstable ROM period unstable for the Galaxy S4 um, it is buggy and I found a couple of serious ones including the having not the ability to record to video record otherwise the camera works perfectly so if the video recording is not a big problem for you you may check out the camera because camera it's working perfectly download open camera and you'll be okay um, so if we started talking uh, if I started to talk about uh, 
box let's finish this uh, category um box box okay um games lag a lot i think it's not really optimized for the galaxy s4 this firmware is not really optimized and i'ma tell you why let's open up relicron lara croft of course and you will see what i'm talking about this is regarding the performance of this uh, rom it's not actually really good so it uh, will lag from time to time um, you will be surprised that the user interface it's actually lag free and I couldn't find any complaints about it but the game performance really sucks I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you this this is a really GPU intensive game and uh, no I don't want to install Google Play games Yep, this is the sound. As we see, it already lags a lot. As you may see, let's try this level. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, so as you may see, there are some major frame drops. So this is the game performance. I don't think you could expect more from an early build of uh, this kind of ROM, AOSP ROM. Actually not AOSP. Early release of this. Okay, so yep, yeah. I'm dead. It were, as I told you, the multitasking option works pretty damn well. And um, let me show you the Antutu 2 benchmark score I got for all the Antutu benchmark cats. <laughs> right down in the comment section, hashtag salute. Um, 31,509. This is the score I got in Antutu 2 benchmark. And let's check out the Ampere application and let's see how fast this device will charge up so measuring right now to see if the fast charge bug has been fixed I set it up in a S Twix so yeah fast charge is working perfectly 1.9 ampere charging fastly so yep yeah, bug fixed um, Bluetooth. I tested out the Bluetooth in my speakers and I couldn't find any complaints about it. It works perfectly with uh, the music player. But if I open up a game, for example, Alto, Alto's Adventure, and uh, you're connected to your, uh, you know, Bluetooth speaker from this ROM, you will get some serious lag drawbacks in the audio quality. So. When you jump, you'll receive the audio signal from jumping for about three or four seconds later, and that's really nasty. Okay, this game also kind of lags a little bit. So yeah, this is the game performance if you asked for it. Android N, early release. Yeah, it works pretty well not fantastic on the KitKat on my KitKat uh, daily driver it works smooth as hell no lag at all works perfectly so yeah that may be some uh, you know um, incompatibility with this uh, Android version a speed test let's make it speed test okay so let's test it out um, again this may be a major problem for this kind of ROMs. You may see 17 megabits per second on the download and almost 56 megabits per second upload. The upload speed is really okay, but the download speed sucks. And uh, I observed this on many CM based ROMs, Series P ROMs. When I download some apps in Google Play Store and I get it into and I get it minimized, the download uh, you know speed will decreasely will decrease really really 
fast. And I also got uh, for about 30 kilobits per second, which was really nasty. Now, I opened up Google Play Store and as you may see, it loads up pretty damn fucking hard. Why? Okay, it was a bug again. Okay, as you may see, this is a dark, it's a dark user interface. Um, it's because of the fact that, again, some lags. This is not a stable ROM. But this ROM benefits of Substratum Team Engine. And I got it a theme from Google Play Store called Inversion UI. And this is how it looks like. Let's open up some, you know, apps. This is how the apps will look like. Kind of a black tint to them. Again, marshmallow, uh, new good features here. You can reply. As you may see you can view the entire mail. You can reply to you know different persons. Okay. Now sending the message. Um, here are the not this beautiful. Here is the this beautiful animation. Take a look at this. Let me clear down notification. So take a look at this. How beautiful it is. Flashlight working as you may see. And you ha we have a bunch of different settings. Invert colors seems not to be working. Flashlight again is dead. Yep, so bugs and bugs everywhere. You can't call this a uh, not even a uh, release candidate ROM. It's a really um, experimental release. Let's like let's, let's say like that. So only if you want to taste to taste the feeling of a nougat. Strange noises in the background, cinematic effects, dramatic effects. So yeah, um, then you may want to try this, but it's not a uh, stable ROM, not even a close to beta ROM. But um, if you want to try it, and smell it, and uh, have a taste, please make sure you check it out. All the files for this ROM are linked down in the description. Again, thank you for more than 5,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. And uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy my video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. channel. By doing so, you'll keep me motivating doing this kind of stuff. I'm Wicked, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.